Then exercise, we're going to make a little bit more sophisticated effect that we usually refer to the wiping effect that we can also blend two images together to form one. So we tidy up our desktop first and then create another project folder. This is mouse 002, rename it, and also create the images folder for the two images that we want to use. So the two images is are the same one that we have used in the last exercise. Then we move it one by one to the desktop of the project. Okay, so instead of doing a cross mix of cross fading between two of them, we would like to get, for example, one half of the inmates from the CVA building and the other half from the AVA building. So in this case, we make use of another command we have more or less touched upon in last couple of weeks is the corner pin again from the TOP corner pin is something similar to cut and paste so you cut part of the image from the original one so we connect it first and then pin that is paste into another empty board by pinning the image into different corners of your board. So this is the idea of corner pin. So all together we need two of them. So we can have a look of the effect before introducing the mouse interaction. So the first one, CVA building. If we would like to keep, for example, the left hand side of the CVA building, we can just move around the right hand side, that is the right margin of the building, to make it like in the middle, that's the half of them. So in this case, you will identify in the extract and the pin where we can find the right margin. So this one, normally we have the range from 0 to 1. So the 0 for left is the left hand side, right will be 1. And then again, bottom 0 and then top 1. So if we would like to move the right margin, we can try our right put 0.5 here for all the right margin. And then we have a wider version of the original image because we haven't made any change to the pin yet. We just extend the original one. And then we can also modify the right margin in the pin value, such that both of them are 0.5. So in this case, you can see that we now have only the left-hand side of the CVA building. For the AVA building, we can perform similar operation like in the extract. But now we would like to cut away the left hand side or left half of the image. So in this case, we just modify the left margin to the middle. And then for this one, as well as for the pin. So in this version, we have the right-hand side or right-hand side half of the original image. And the next step is we try to combine two of them and put it in the output window. The easiest thing that we can do is a composite, which is a very versatile operation that we can connect multiple input and then send the result back to the output window. We see nothing because we 
by default is using the multiply operation. In this case, at the other half of the original images are empty. So we can just choose add to add two of them together. We can have this image that is half CVA building, half AVA building. And they are split in the middle of the screen by using the 0.5 in the left and right margin. Again, we can change the perform window into fill and also remove the border. That will give you the result in the perform mode like this. Okay, so the next step is we need to work on with the mouse interaction that we have done with a chop mouse in and again we understand the margin minus one to positive one left and right we use some math to modify it and to make it like in the range the from range is minus 1 to 1 and the two range is 0 to 1 so we have this 0 to 1 for the TX at this moment we can connect a now just in case we need to make change before we send them for the operation okay we are going to put the TX into the corner pin operation so first of all we turn on the viewer active and then have a look of the first corner pin we have actually made change to the right margin in extract and also the right margin in pin so that means for all those area we put 0.5 we need to put the TX that's the changing value over there okay we have a quick operation like export the first one export the second one again we also export the pin for the right margin So after that, you can see that the first corner pin work according to our design. And then we're going to work on with the second one, with the same TX again. Second one, we work on with the left margin, both in extract and also pin. So we drag this one, export, we drag it again, export in the pin as well drag the first one left margin drag the second one in the left margin now we complete all the drag and drop and if you move the mouse around you will see that the splitting line changes accordingly so in the output will be something like this so in video editing there is something called a white pink effect in a full screen mode so that will be something like this so you can interactively changing the composition of the two images of course instead of using two images you can also use two digital video in this case to to kind of switch from one into another and also return to the original so this is the effect of using mouse for such interaction